when is it time to give up on your music career? Scenario one, um, you post, you've been doing this for a couple of years and your social media just really is not doing well. It sucks. No one engages, no one likes it because your stuff isn't good. Well, that's what you tell yourself, okay? Hmm. So let's talk about that. Is performance of social media indicative of whether you should give up on your music career? I would say no. And I would say no, because obviously every social media platform has a different algorithm and you have to train yourself as a marketer to figure out how to market yourself. And that takes time and that's totally different than right. the skill of making music, than the skill of marketing, uh, well, not making music, but actually performing the music live. All right, so for me, if you are getting down on yourself and you're saying it's time to give up because your social media kind of sucks, I disagree with that. What do you think? Yeah, uh, no, absolutely. There's so many social media and making music or being a musician are two different things. And always remember, you know, hopefully you got into music because, you know, I know for me, it wasn't really something that I chose to do. It was something that I had to do. And so, you know, if you're getting into the music business, you know, music should be something that you have to do, like almost like it's all you know how to do. And so you can't realizing that marketing and social media is a completely different animal that you're going to have to learn. There's nothing about them that are naturally working together. Could be just because you have not taken the time to do it right. Are you as much time as you have been putting into your craft of making music? Are you learning different techniques for social media? Are you paying attention to social media and trying new things? Or are you just posting and promoting your album every two seconds, which is the same boring album cover? You're not trying any creative ways to do anything. You're just like, I post a picture of my thing and it says out now and I get two likes and one of them is really my other account and the other one is my like dad. And I was pissed last time because he didn't say anything. Yeah, you can't, you can't read into numbers and understand that at the end of the day, all it's telling you is that you just haven't found the type of content to connect with the type of audience that's going to like your stuff. And for me, even just kind of learning that sharing stuff about my other parts of my life, right, not necessarily just music 100% of the time, mm -hmm. allowed people to get to know me. And so they can get to know you. So I, I'd Very like important. to say your homework item is come up with three types of content that represents you. One of them probably should be music, obviously, if you are a musician, an artist, a producer. But then another piece of it could be something like, what's a hobby that you do, right? What's something that you're interested in? And so come up with three types of content and then come up with a schedule. And you'll be able to quickly figure out maybe where your deficiencies are and understand that the post not doing well doesn't mean it's time for you to give up. Right. Okay, so that's, that's number right. one. Number two, well, let's talk about your music quality. Your music quality really isn't that great and you know it. The mix isn't great. You don't get your stuff mastered. It's really not mm. polished. You're just kind of doing it out of your bedroom. Your music quality sucks. It's not really getting that much better. So I think it's time for you to give up. Or at least that's what you're telling yourself. Music quality is very subjective. And sometimes people love crappy quality music. They lean into it, they lean into it. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's an, it, to have something sound really bad but good is like a real art like it there's there's some fantastic stuff that sounds like it was produced in a trash can but it works you know what i mean yeah and so i think that when it comes to you know i was talking with an artist the other day and he was saying he's always working on trying to improve his production and the actual quality of the music and that's great but mm -hmm. you are going to learn the most the quickest by actually doing the thing right so don't hold yourself back by not releasing stuff, right? Do it. And every time you do a new song, every time you produce or mix or master or sing, every time you work your craft, you're going to get better. And people will go along with you during that journey because they'll be a part of it. So don't be fearful or think that because maybe the quality isn't quite where it needs to be, or someone's just told you that might not be true, that somehow it means that it's time to give up. Okay. Which then brings me to number three. It's time to give up because you're too old. No one's going to pay attention to what you're doing. It's all over for you. Didn't you know that the cutoff was age 18 or whatever you're telling yourself? And I'm going to disagree with all of that. When it comes to your age, first of all, it doesn't matter as it relates to what you're doing. If you are a producer, it's even easier for you, right? Because you're the behind the scenes person. But let's say you're a lead singer. To say that 
you by the way that you look, by the way that, you know, your ages, things like weight, like any of that's going to impact ultimately your ability to connect with people who care. That comes with you actually sharing, basically like opening your heart, which is what music is all about. And we've seen the most prolific artists emerge at various times of their lives, right? They might be young. And a lot of us know a lot of young artists, but they also might be older. And so you can discount the value that you bring into the world by sharing your craft. What do you think? I don't know for sure. And, and the thing of it is it's, I, I say this all the time. It's not like the nineties anymore. It's not the early two thousands, you know, with, with the fact that we have social media and everybody has a platform. Now you're seeing celebrities of all ages, of all sizes, of all belief structures. Or you're seeing, you know, people that, you know, are beautiful and people that are not so beautiful and everything in between having millions of followers that they're building based on the content that they create, the information that they're giving out, the music that they're making. And so I think people, you know, and especially because of these talent shows that happen as well, people are just looking for talented artists or music that connects or a message or a you know somebody that they can identify is like them and going through the same stuff and that was to your point earlier about you know when you're creating the content and you're showing those other sides of yourself you know it doesn't have to be your deepest darkest personal secrets but it could be stuff that you're really into that you're trying to find like-minded people and and that's all that we're all kind of as just people looking for just kind of like-minded people and a community that we can just kind of you know feel comfortable with love it all right, so then when it comes to, is it time to give up on yourself, on your music career, on your goals? Well, you don't have the time. And I can tell you that for many artists, I hear this as a primary reason why they are not successful, why they are not moving themselves forward. They just don't have the time. So if you don't have the time, you should just give up. Or at least that's what you're telling yourself. <laughs> now, you know, for me, there are only 24 hours in a day. We all kind of operate kind of at capacity, right? People are demanding our time, family and friends, whether it's social, whether it's work, whether we just want to relax and watch some TV. There are only so many hours in the day. And so for me, this is not a needle mover. I have artists that I work with who are parents, right? who have full-time jobs and the only time that they can work on their careers are at the crack it on at 4 yep. or 5 a.m. or super late after their shift. And so what I'm finding is that in order for you to carve out the time, you have to first make the decision that you won't make the excuse and you won't allow yourself to rely on that excuse because look, that feels pretty good. I'm tired. I right. had a long day. I just took care of the kids. I had to walk the dogs and I don't have time to work on my craft. And so if you give yourself that excuse, then you're going to not only break a promise to yourself in that you were going to work on your career, you were going to move things forward, but you will continue to reaffirm that failure, which is something that's just in your mind. Yeah, no, I, I, that, that is a, that is a huge one that, that I hear. And I think, and it's funny, and it's like when I start talking to, you know, some of, some of the students and stuff, when I have chats with them. Though I'm like, you know, where they are not finding time. And I'm like, well, let me know what your day is, you know, and then, you know, you know, they go to work or they, you know, take care of kids or whatever. And then, you know, they'll say something like, I was like, well, you don't do anything. You know, what do you do to kind of relax and decompress? Well, you know, I like to play Call of Duty. You know, I watch, you know, Netflix and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I thought you didn't have time. You know what I mean? Like you have a lot of time to play video games and to, to, to do you know, watch like, you know, binge watch, you know, three hours of Netflix, but you don't have time to just, you know, get in the studio and have an idea just to, you know, anything. And, and I, and I find that, you know, we choose what we want to spend our time on when, in I think that it's, if music is not something that you find a passion about, like I said earlier, like it, it is something that called to me. It was something that I had to do. Um, so like, if you don't have that feeling, you know, maybe that is a reason why you should quit because if you can't even find it in yourself to, to make it a priority in your life, as opposed to, I'm just going to play video games. And unless you're playing on a stream, like a Twitch stream where you're making money on playing video games, like for me, video games are a waste of time. If you're not making some revenue from it, or you're not like, you're, you're literally just wasting time is money. 
and you're literally just kind of wasting your money or wasting your time, just not doing something that's trying to help benefit yourself, especially if it's a passion of yours. So called. <laughs> All right. So then number five on when it, when is it time to give up on yourself and your music career? And it might be time to give up because you don't have money. Uh, right in order for you to get discovered in order for anything to happen meaningfully you need to get a big infusion of capital to run ads to pay for your tours to do all the things and if you don't have that money you can't succeed mm -hmm. so it's time to give up or at least that's what you tell yourself and you know when it comes to i don't have money you know that that's going to fail every time for me because there are endless ways to promote yourself for free, to put out music for free or close to free, right? To do everything that you want to do, including barter for time. And I can share for me, you know, when I was kind of 16, you know, getting really into doing this myself and doing my music videos, I had no money. I had no way to pay for, you know, people's time. But what I did is I would barter. What can I do? What value can I bring? Or otherwise just convincing them to work with me. And so you should never think that it's time to give up just because you might be low on cash or stressed about money, which is, you know, unfortunately what a lot of us are dealing with. Yeah, no, that's, that's crazy talk. Like money is, is, is definitely important to think, but if this is something that you want to do, like it shouldn't hold you back. Now, a perfect example for me, kind of like with your story when kind of younger, when I was getting started. I was uh, doing like electronica music slash industrial music. Like I really wanted to be like the prodigy when I was like younger. And so, but I didn't have any sense. I didn't even have a computer that can make music. So my big advice is just networking, meeting people and just constantly out there. So like that doesn't cost you anything to go out and just kind of talk to people or especially with social media, you can DM people and just talk to them. And then I started working with people that did have equipment and then you just kind of just start getting in there and kind of you could borrow things, you, you collab with other people. Um, there's ways to get it going so you can, you know, get yourself moving and you know with promotion and TikTok, you can literally just go outside and shoot something with your with your cell phone and upload it and could go super viral you don't even have to have a song or production you can go viral if you have a vocal melody if you're a singer and just going ooh, like something 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 and you're like in this park or something and then you got you know three hundred thousand views on it and everybody's wanting to hear that song or Somebody will re you hit, you know, remix this or put this in your beat and you're just singing an acapella. Same thing with producers. Producer can sit there on a table with, you know, a couple of pins and make a beat on a table and that video can go viral. Like there's all kinds of things you do. They're just not an excuse anymore. You don't need uh, some fancy guy to record you in a studio and charge you all your money anymore. People are literally making, you know, Steve Lacey from the internet and, and I think he, he won a Grammy. He had one of the biggest songs of that bad habits. Like this guy records on his iPhone and then he takes his iPhone and he dumps the files into a studio and stuff. And that's how it happens. Like, like you can do it. So, you know, I, I wouldn't, money is not, is not a factor. You can, to get you started to where you're earning money now to pay for it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, guys. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, never give up on yourself. And, you know, <laughs> whenever people are like, I'm going to give this a year. And if it doesn't work out, I'm not a huge star by then. I'm throwing in the towel. Well, that just tells me you weren't ready for this lifestyle anyway. This is an entrepreneurial journey. This is a, you're going to build this thing from scratch. You're going to figure it out. And you have to learn all the things along the way from marketing to music distribution and how to do cover art and how to make yeah. music videos. Yeah. So keep that in mind and don't give up on yourself.